Breaking news, ladies and gents, eyebrows have been raised in the world of football for about the 300th millionth time. Literally every time you get a brand new club, that of course is the introduction to the message. Now, we are of course going to have a little look at our brand new home here in Malaysia and a little look around where the club is before we get into our first game of the season. But before we get into that, I would like us to have a little look at our transfer budget, have a little look at where the club is now how they've been getting on up until this point and have a little look at our contract as we can see we are currently on five thousand two hundred and fifty pound per week not sure how well that's going to go here in malaysia i have a currency converter waiting to put that in so i'll find out how much that is worth and see how much we've got per month to rent a place out as well as of course leaving a little bit aside for us to live as well but enough rambling from me what else do we have here so it's a one and a half star reputation team the media predicts us to be top of the league although i have had a little bit of a look and i believe they only finished second or third i want to say we'll look for the exact position in just a second now the transfer budget is just over five million so we're gonna have a little bit of money to spend the wage budget is nice at 113,516 per week and we've got a nice big stadium too 40,000 capacity sultan ibrahim stadium built in 2020 now director of football is Moid Shakib Ali, assistant manager is Ramian Rashid. Not sure if we're going to be able to bring in any new staff, as you can see with the FA Cup winners. Oh, here we go. Super League second place is where we finished last time. So they did fail to win the league last time. It's okay. We can bounce back this year. Charity Cup winners, Malaysian Cup winners, Champions League East, Conference Cup knocked out in the Asenian zone final okay so besides the league i think they did a decent job in the cup runs unfortunately they couldn't do it in the league we'll probably end up being able to do it in the league and then failing in our cup runs but we'll try and get it all together now below average training facilities and below average youth recruitment isn't great average roof recruitment network of course we have that rule as well where everyone has to be able to speak malaysian so that's going to be rather interesting i'm not sure the countries around whether they are very good at speaking the language or not as you can see i'm not very good at speaking english never mind learning malaysian but we're gonna have to do it whilst we are here the real question is ah there we go they use a 4141 i might use it i might we'll see what the players are like i'll come up with something with what our players are like i'm gonna try and avoid using a 4231 as tempting as that is especially in this save i want to try and avoid the 4231 in this save i want to have a little bit of fun use the players in the way they was intended bring in a couple of fresh faces and just revamp the way they like to play but that is our team at the moment. Club culture, sign high reputation players. Perfect. Love doing that. Play entertaining football. Work within the wage budget. We can do that. They're not going to judge how we get on in the Champions League. Although, personally, I am going to judge how we get on in that. Conference Cup, not judging. Super. That's a weird one. They're not judging how we get on in the league. I wonder if that's because it's done on some weird rules. I'm pretty sure Malaysia, Malaysia's not done on weird rules but i'll have to figure that one out in just a second fa cup not judged okay so apparently literally none of the competitions we are in this year we're not going to be judged on i think it might be because i put us at the end of the season of the previous season that's the only thing i can grasp from that because we're not going to be judged and nothing is important so if that's the case i will tell you what the importance of them are when we refresh it get into the new season but at the moment, it looks like we don't have to do anything. The brothers in as managers said, just have fun. You know, cups don't matter. League doesn't matter. Just enjoy your time here in Malaysia, my friend. Now, I am, of course, going to schedule a meeting with our staff as well as mm, every month. Every month. Schedule a meeting with the media. Sort a staff meeting out. But I'm not going to make you fine folks sit through that. As you can see, this is our squad. These are our top players. So we've got a centre-back, a couple of defenders. Okay, I can see why they're using four at the back. We're going to be using at least three midfielders. I think lone striker. So 4 2 three, one might actually be good for this team. I might go for the Christmas tree though, just to switch things up. 
anyways, I'm going to sort that out. As you can see, we've got a Cosovan. Okay, we've got a Cosovan, an Aussie, an Argentinian, a Brazilian, another Argentinian. The rest are, of course, all from Malaysia. But I'm going to sort through the squad. I will see you fine folks over as we have a little look to find ourselves a rental property. Okay, so my look through didn't actually take that long because there's actually only two properties. As you'll see, those bottom four are all the same one, just with different levels of pictures listed by different people, but all the exact same property, all in the same area, all look exactly the same, same internal pictures. It's the same property. So it's a two horse race. We can either pay 14,000 per month or 8,000 per month. Now the 8,000 per month is slightly further away, but it's nearer the water. The 14,000 is more in the hills. I think what we're going to do is go for the 8000 a month. It's a little bit cheaper. It comes with an extra bedroom. As you can see, square footage is a lot bigger. And, well, it's more authentic. The other one has a more modern feel to it. We'll have a little glance through it, but I shall see. It's more of a modern, clean look, tiled around. Looks nice, but I want to have that more you're staying in Malaysia feel about the place. As you can see, it looks like a gated estate, to be honest. But it's quite nice. As you can see, very similar to where I'm actually going on holiday this year. That is very much like Checkpoint Charlie. So, we've got Checkpoint Charlie there. In terms of the place where we are actually going to stay though, only 8,000 per month, 4,000 per two weeks, making it only 2,000 per week. 2,000 per week means we are paying £36.54 per week. Okay, this is a dirt cheap property and well, we might spend some of the money getting some furniture in. Who knows, future episodes, we might do a little bit of furniture shopping, get this place some new furniture. It can stay when we go, they can keep the brand new cooker, the brand new sofas, whatever we decide to pick up. As you can see outside, it looks quite nice. Brick, big open living area with plenty of seating sides of this sofa and then they decide to put two more in. And the chair, sure, why not? We need a separate chair, which doesn't really go with the colour of the others, but it's okay. Now, as you can see, the kitchen looks rather spacious, big enough to put a dining table smack bang in the middle of it. And we've got our fire extinguishers if we really need them. I personally can cook pretty decent, so I don't expect that we'll need the fire extinguishers. As you can see, gated off as well. A little bit run down, could do with a clean up, but it'll do for a year. Now, nice pink bedding there, although of course that is just the sheet. Nice spacious room, nice spacious room indeed. Got a couple of beds in there, we'll probably push them together since it's just us. And, well, we've got our patriotic flags outside and a lot of flats behind us. Okay, they're quite a bit away though, so we should be good. We'll have a little look at the houses area as well. We've seen where the stadium is. Let's have a little look at where this property is as well. Another picture from outside. Plenty of outside space as well. So perhaps, perhaps we'll get a hot tub or something to go out there. Who knows? But it's looking a little bit dated, but it's quite a nice place. Bit of parking space, not going to be a whole lot of use for us unless we rent one of those scooters. We've got our upstairs, nice outside area there as well. More external area, again another bedroom. This, perhaps our office, it looks a bit dark and dingy you know. It's got the ceiling for it, that's probably where our office will be. Our personal home office of course, not our work office, although I don't know what the facility is like in the stadium, who knows, maybe we'll have to have that as our work office. This interesting bedroom, interesting bedroom indeed. And a separate dining area as well, okay we have a lot of space, space to work with as you can see. The plates on the cooker, not so much the rest of the kitchen. We need some counter space. I might need to get a kitchen fitted. Okay, we've got a bit of counter space here, but I think we could do with a little bit more. Also, I think we could go big American fridge, considering all of this wall space we've got here. Make use of the space. Get a bigger fridge in. Nice big bed there, though. Nice and spacious room. These seats, I'm probably thinking of getting something a little bit more comfortable. Also, it kind of sucks these seats are here when there's tellies here. So once it's there, the big fat head's going to be in the way. You can't see from anywhere. So, bit of a bad decision to put 
yeah, just move them here. Don't know why they're literally in front of the telly. Bit of a daft idea. Anyways, nice another bedroom. We've got some more space upstairs. That's the other bedroom again, I think. Unless there's a similar one at the other side, but it's not a bad little property. But how is our squad shaping up? Okay, ladies and gents, a quick little deviation from our transfers. We are, in fact, going to have a little look at our club vision and expectations. I've already had a little look at this and accepted them myself. And, well, they have, of course, changed. We are expected to try and do something this year. And, well, it is win the Super League for the league, which is not surprising. Confederation Cup reach the group stage and win a domestic competition for next year. But that doesn't matter to us, of course. We will be gone by the end of the year, so the only thing we really care about is winning the league and reaching the group stage of the Confederation Cup. But enough rambling from me. Let's get those transfers in and let's crack on with the first game of the season. Okay, ladies and gents, I've been editing this episode together and, well, this part was quite lengthy. I've had to trim quite a lot out of the episode as it was standing, it was going to be about 4 to 50 minutes long. I want to get it under half now. I don't want it to be too long for you, fine ladies and gents. You don't want to be looking at this face for over half an hour. It will send you crazy. So, I'm going to hover over some of these players. In fact, I'll hover all of, over all of them. Pause it if you're interested in looking at their stats. If you want me to go over them in a future episode, I'll happily do that. But right now, we just don't have the time. So, I'll go over the prices of them. First of all, we have... Ayim Bila, he is a left-hand side of defender, as you can see, centre-back. He, in fact, was in the team of the year for this division. We then have another Gan Ghanaian coming in. We do have one extra foreign player. I made a mistake bringing both of them in. Should have probably just brought the one in, but solid player. Another solid player, Cam. Both of them coming in on free transfers from Last year's champions, Selangor. We are then buying a player from Selangor. Safari, a right hand side in midfielder. A little bit of cover over there for 12 and a half grand. Free transfer for the goalkeeper, Biden. Not Sleepy Joe Biden. This one's spelt a little bit different. He's coming in our free transfer. He's probably second, maybe third choice goalkeeper. Definitely not going straight into the lineup. We then have Asri. He's a left hand sided midfielder. Again, a bit more cover over there. Although I think he'll be starting at 22 grand. We then have Say Yadi, who is a central midfielder, a Malayan central midfielder. Again, a bit more cover. 7.25 grand from Parak. We then brought in three players from Pahang. Pahang. We got Mansour in central midfield as well as some cover for 15 grand on a free transfer. We got Lee Tuck to give us a bit more depth up front. He's 35 years of age though. We also have Ishak coming in at left defense. He's coming in for nine grand. I wanted to get someone who is Malaysian over there as well. We then picked up some ramen noodles on a free transfer as well from Malacca. For, I'm not going to go over Hakim just yet. He's our big signing. Zamri is another striker, 23 years of age, Malaysian, coming in for 30 grand. And we have Eld Stahl coming in at centre back. Experience, but he's not good enough to start because of our foreign players. But he's a very good player to come off the bench or cover when we need him for a cup game when we've got a couple of fixtures close together. But the big one is Hakim. Now, he's usually better on the wings and in the cam spot. But currently, we're using him as a false nine up front. As you can see, very solid player. He's on 12 grand per week, which accidentally pushed up the wage of one of my centre backs because he had a hidden highest ender clause. But it's okay. We are, of course, going to crack on with today's game now. I'm sorry I cut this one a little bit short. But, like I said, the episode is quite lengthy, so I'll see you over at the stadium in just a second. Okay, so we might be the heavy favourites, but I think I'm going to kick things off with a positive note here at this club. So we're going for the good old pump fist. This is a match we should be winning, make sure we do. Let's head on outside. That didn't have the greatest of effects. Probably a more assertive, you better win, would have gone down better, but... 
I wanted to be a bit more upbeat, you know, considering we spent the last end of our time in South Africa praying to the Lord with our hands together every time we spoke. And the great thing is now we can actually talk in between halves because we can, of course, shout at the lads. We can't shout with our hands together, but because we don't have our hands together now, we are all good. But right now, these kits, by the way, a little bit clashy. Not a fan of these kits. We are in blue, though, as Lowry gets the ball. He's going to play it out wide. A riff. Okay, that's a weird shot, and we'll work with that one. A riff. It's now with Ong. Ong volleying the cross. Interesting approach. Safari will collect this, though. Can Safari make use of it? Safari's going to turn. Passes it back to Mauricio. By the way, this seems quite far out. Maybe I have to zoom us in a little bit. Now we're at this bigger stadium. Anyways, Safari coming down the right-hand side. Whips it in. And come on! Samara has just gone and got the first goal of our time here. And we're not even two minutes in. It is, of course, going to get rounded up to the second minute. But we're only two minutes in. Not a bad little start. Not bad indeed. The only bad thing, really, is this episode is probably going to be quite long. And the fact that... This is a team we'll be dominating. There's probably going to be a bunch of highlights, so the game might be quite long. What have we currently got it on right now? Extended. You know what? I am going to drop this to key highlights. I apologize, but I'm going to put it on key highlights because I do think this episode is going to get really long if I leave it on extended. So we're going to go to key highlights. A riff is going to come down this left-hand side and can he make a good cross? Whips it in back post. Safari cannot keep it down. You know what? I want to change the settings. I don't want to waste time changing the settings right now, though. So I apologize if it does seem a little far out. It is a little far out for me. But hopefully you can just bear with me for this episode. We'll try and get a little bit nearer for the next one. Or at least in the next one. Because the next one, I do plan on playing the very next game. Because we are, of course, facing the champions. And we have the charity cup, I want to say it's called, in that game. It's played for in that first league game. So... Hopefully we can pick that up. Hopefully we can beat the current champions. Get back to where we're supposed to be at the top of the Malaysian League. And yeah, hopefully we have a good time. Also, I might make that a double header. Play the second leg of this one. It really depends how this goes. But of course, this is a Cambodian team. So it would be nice to head on over to Cambodia. Have a little look at Cambodia whilst we are here. But Hakim has got through. Unfortunately, though, we didn't put it in the back of the net as the goalkeeper turns it round the post. But we have a corner. And to take it will be the one and only Safari. So Safari whips it in back post. I, of course, have not set up any of our kick takers. We're just going with the flow. We're letting our kick takers decide who they want to be. And it'll be okay. I think we'll be okay if it's... Not okay, then I'll start setting them. If we start having defenders going up and taking kicks and we get hit on the counter-attack because of it, well, I'll just start setting midfielders and strikers to take it. It's all good. We are all good. Right now, though, they are going to try and build up from the back as it's a ball up to Heng Tina. Tina Turner and her Bunsen Burner is hopefully trying to burn us right now, but it's a ball back to Pedro. Pedro across to Teeth. Teeth? Teeth Dina. What a weird name. Anyways, it's a ball all the way back in the end. Sarin. Sarin's going to play it over to this right-hand side where he finds Yet Chetra. Yes, that's his name. Not yet, but it is yet. Anyways, I'm confusing myself now. Full trying to build from the back. Plays it over to Sam, of course. Sam Pidor. Pidor into Dina. Dina's going to turn. Where's he going to go with this one? He has been closed down. I'm not even going to attempt that last name. It's just going to be Pitch. Pitch into Dina. Dina, lovely ball through to the Pitch. And the Pitch cannot score. Son of a Pitch. A Pitch. Who is the son? Anyways. It's a corner, nevertheless. For Heng Tina to whip in. Near post. Hedro. Guess he didn't like me mocking his teammate because he's just gone and scored himself a header. So you know what? You know what? We're at home. Our system thinks we should go attacking. We're going to do it. We're going attacking. And I'm going to demand more. Because we shouldn't be drawing to this team. We should be winning comfortably. So, Lowry gets the ball over to this left-hand side. Riff gets it. Can he make a nice 
What on earth was that? A rip, you kicked it at the back of his legs and then it's just pinged back to them. So, Dina, I think we're going to get a lot of that in this league, by the way. A lot of weird little situations where they go to pass it, it just hits the other player. Anyway, Dina, see, that save. So like that, I feel like in the league, that's going to get batted down and occasionally a strike is just going to pounce on it and score. But, thankfully, this side is not. Tina. Whipping it in. Where's Tina going with this one? Pedro! Ooh, uh oh. No, he can be dangerous in the air. Don't want Pedro scoring another one. No. No, we do not. No. Kayo, by the way, currently 3 0 up in the game. A riff is going to play it back to Og, though. Ong, even. It's a ball back out to a riff, though. A riff's going to play it back to Corbin Ong. Corbin Ong into a riff. A riff across to Safari. Left to right. Oh, it's cracked off the bar. We keep doing that left to right, and it is confusing their defense, but we haven't put one in the back of the net yet. Thankfully, the... Okay, fine. Fine. Don't give us the highlight. That's okay. Anyways, we have a couple of goals elsewhere. Bottom one. Still nil-nil. Five nil to Kaya. I think it's safe to say Kaya's going to make it through. They do, of course, have to head away in the second leg, but they're having a good time. 5-0 at home in their match. Unfortunately, we are not having a similar situation. Let's get our finger out. Let's point. I don't like what I saw from this team. Although there is a lot of sevens. A lot of sevens. But I still don't like what I like from the team as a whole. The team as a whole has been pretty dismal. So, get back out there. Show me something better. We've had some players who have put in a good performance. Others, though, have been lacking. Mainly... All right, back right now, who's on a yellow card and a 6.4. And I don't know if we've got anyone who can really replace him. So it's a ball up to Samara right now. Samara's going to turn, shoots. Oh, what a goal by Samara. Got himself a brace, ladies and gents, but can he get himself a hat trick? He's one away. Can he get that? Seal the deal on this game. Hat trick would be fantastic. Fantastic way to kick off. Our first game in charge, if you could do it. A brace is nice, but I would like to see a hat trick. I would like to see that. But it's going to be ball whipped in. Back post. Goalkeeper collects it in the air, though. How's his distribution, though? Is he going to give it back to us? Or is he going to root one it, go straight over the top of us, and then score an equaliser? Well, we got it. We won the header. A rip. Coming down this left-hand side. He does have support behind him if he wishes to use it. Looks like he's going to go himself, though. He might now use his support as he's getting closed down near the byline. Goes back to Corbin Ong. Corbin Ong whips it in. Hat-trick? No. Samara's header is just going to sail over the bar and far away. Where, of course, the Teletubbies come out to play. So... Do we have anyone who's particularly tired? No, not yet. Even though we're at our normal substitution time, we have a yellow card that we probably should be dealing with. Let's have a little look if we've got anyone who is suitable. No, we've got no one suitable. Nobody suitable. Okay. Well, that's worrying. Do we have anyone who's playing bad beside you? Corbin. The Corbinite. The Corbinite is having a bad game. So, Ayimbila. Ayimbila is going to make it harder for me to commentate, but it's okay. Ayimbila can go over to that side. Is there anyone else we would like to have a look at? Maybe a ramen noodle or a tuck? Nah, we'll keep it as is for now. Although, we do have a couple of players getting tired now. Hakim, for one. I would like to rest off Hakim. He's a main player for our team. He hasn't really shown it today, but he's going to be a key player going forward. So, probably should rest him up for future games. I apologise for that. But, Mauricio, coming down this right-hand side. Going to play it short to Safari. He's given up. He's like, I don't want to run. You run. Plays it short to him. He gets the ball up. It's back to Mauricio. Eventually whips it in. Hat-trick. Come on! Samara gets himself a hat trick and what a note now Samara go put your feet up my friend go put your feet up we are gonna bring on yeah we'll bring on Tuck Tuck don't particularly want to play there but we'll bring on Tuck we'll bring on that little Tucker see how it gets on so you can be a deep line forward in fact tag 
poacher. No, advance. We'll have a lone ad No, 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 no. Stick with your gut. Stick with your gut. BLP. Also, that's going to really bug me. Really going to bug me when we get on to the next episode when our players are all shifted. But I'll sort that in a minute, I guess. I guess we can sort that now. This. I want to get them back in that order. And get it to just reset it. Thank you. That's nice. And can we get ourselves another? Come on, talk. Come on, talk. Chase it down, talk. Or let them play it up. Dina. Dina's got a lovely opportunity to play ball through. Thankfully, though, it doesn't get there as a Yimbali. Is it? Yimbili? Bila? Bila. A Yim. A Yimmy Bila. Gets the ball in the end. Definitely going to have to put some nicknames on some of these players. So, if you come back and you're wondering why Nerf players have got names that are much easier to pronounce, you know why. It's a nice thing about Football Manager. You can just rename the players if you struggle with them. But a rip. Cutting inside. Ball up to Zamri. Zamri's got spot on his right-hand side. He's got to play close. To Ooh, Tina. That was risky. Fortunate for you, though. You did manage to win the ball. But... Safari's found himself plenty of space on this right-hand side. By the way, if you're looking at the pitch and wondering why does it look so darn big, that's because I put the maximum dimensions on for our pitch. We're supposed to be the best team in the league. So if you make it as big as possible, we've got as, enough, as much room as possible to work with. Simple logic. It is going to bite us on the backside probably when we come into, say, the Asian Champions League. We're going to be coming up against some better teams, but we have to qualify for that first. And, well, it looks like we might be on the road to doing so right now with our 4-1 lead in this one. So, I'm not sure if we're going to do a double header. We might go to Cambodia. We might not. I want to do double header still. It does seem kind of pointless, but who knows? Maybe we'll look at some of our backups, you know. Give you a little look at some of the players who I've brought in who probably won't play too much. They'll play three or four games maybe this season. It'd be nice to show you them as well as our main players. If of course they are fit enough because our next game is in about two or three days. And yeah, we'll have a nice couple of games in the next one if that works out as planned. But this ball up to Tuck right now. Tuck's going to turn, passes it through to Zamri. Zamri one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Decide to kick it over the bar. Okay. Okay, Zamri. You're not going for a drop goal. But it's okay. It's okay. We've got a 4 1 lead going to Cambodia. Don't see them scoring. I do see us possibly getting a fifth. That would be lovely. Especially as we've got a man running down that right hand side. Can anyone find him? No. It's going to be played inside. Ooh, interesting. Nice one, Tuck. Gets it to Arif. Arif does have spot behind him. It's played inside Tuck now. Tuck's going to turn. Passes it eventually back to Iyimbili. Uh, he's going to get it to Arif. It's back to Iyimbili. It's into Agya. Oh, the two former players, Ghanaian players, linking back up. Saf Safari. My brain just gave up on that word for some reason. Simple name. Brain gave up. Guess I was trying too hard with a left back. Anyway. A rip coming down this left hand side. Maybe pull it back for our left back. Yes. Now, can he get a good cross in perhaps? No, he's going to go back to a rip. Thankfully, a rip is still on side. Now, ball finally in. Free header. Come on. Agyakwa has gone and got himself a goal. The other Ghanaian, of course, as well as our left back. He's a good player. He's a very good player, unfortunately. Like I said, don't think he's going to get as much game. No, he is. He is going to get enough game time. It's all good. We're not going to drop him from the registration. The question is, who will we end up not having registered? Because looking at this team, Lowry is one of our foreign players. He's an Aussie. We have Agyakwa, who is Ghanaian. Our left back here, he's Ghanaian. Now, Korbanong is technically slightly better than him. He's Malaysian. But he's a brand new addition, so it doesn't seem right to bring in a brand new addition and then not register him and let him get mad, especially considering he was in the team of the year last year. 
So, it's going to be difficult because the player who's currently unregistered in our cam spot was also in the team of the year for the league. So, we've got way too many good players. And as you can see, a 9.9 .9 coming out from the guy who is supposed to be our right-hand side of midfielder but playing in cam. We've just got too much talent on this roster. But enough rambling from me. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Hopefully you come back for our big double header as we have some time in Cambodia in the next one. I thank you all for joining us. I hope you all have a lovely night and goodbye.